Hello, it's Alimik. In today's video, we're gonna be doing radiator coolant complete flush and fill it up with new coolant, whether if you have contaminated coolant or something like this in the reservoir. So this car been sitting over the night and the engine completely cold to touch and the cooling system not hot or pressurized, so we can safely open the reservoir cap. So why this happened? This car doesn't have any engine problem or head gasket problem. Some of modern cars nowadays use HOAT, Hybrid Organic Acid Technology, or OAT, Organic Acid Technology. HOAT and OAT coolants have different chemical composition. They are not designed to be mixed together. Mixing these two types of coolant can cause inflammation, sludge, or gel-like substance that can clog radiator, heater core, or other cooling system components. This can result in poor cooling flow, reduce heat transfer, and ultimately engine overheating. So what are the difference between HOAT and OAT coolants? So HOAT is orange and OAT is purple. HOAT rated for 5 years and 100,000 miles, while the OAT rated for 10 years and 150,000 miles. And OAT always expensive than HOAT. So this car's radiator system being mixed with OAT and HOAT and resulted that varnish and gel-like substance. In order to do a complete flush in an easy way, we need to remove the lowest radiator hose to drain that coolant or use the training plug, which I will be using today. For cleaning, I will be using Rabinola's Radiator Professional Cleaner. We need to drain the coolant and then fill it up with water or distilled water, and then pour the cleaner in and let the engine run for 10 to 15 minutes and drain the water again and flush a few times till the water gets clean. And the last thing, we need 2 gallons of OAT radiator coolant. Before doing anything, I will be covering engine's computer because we will be working with water and I don't want this part to get wet, so I'm just gonna put a plastic bag on it. Alright, we are ready for draining the radiator coolant. You either have to remove the lower radiator hose or the drain plug. Alright, drain pan under the car. Now we're gonna open the drain plug. Make sure to open it all the way down to help with the coolant flow. And keeping the radiator reservoir cap open helps with the coolant flow a lot. We are gonna have to wait till all the coolant being drained. After it stopped, I am gonna use compressed air to push the remaining coolant out. Because I didn't remove the lower hose, it will need some help to push the remaining coolant out. But if you don't access to a compressed air or a blower, remove the lower hose. I will be using spill proof radiator coolant filling funnel kit. It comes with multiple different casts for a variety of cars. What is good about it, you can pour a good amount of coolant and it will give you a higher point to help escaping bubbles. And when you're done, you can seal the funnel and then lift the funnel up with the remaining coolant. So for this Jeep, Spacer D looks perfect and then screw the cap back on and then the funnel. Next, closing lower radiator drain plug for doing cleaning and flushing procedure. I will pour Ravinol's Radiator Professional Cleaner first and then fill the rest with distilled water. You can use tap water too and use distilled water only at the last flush because we will be doing multiple flushes till it gets super clean. So now the radiator being filled with cleaner and then distilled water with the drain cap closed. Now we can turn on the engine and we are gonna let it run for 15 minutes. So we will let the engine run for 15 minutes and I'm sure it will reach idling temperature and the thermistor valve will open and recirculate that distilled water and the cleaner through the entire system. And the best thing you can do now, turn on the heater with full fan speed and highest temperature to fully open that valve, so the cleaner will clean the heater core as well. After the engine been running for a while, it will reach idling temperature, and when the thermostat valve opens, it allows to recirculate the water and the cleaner. And now it's been after 15 minutes and the engine been running with the cleaner just like it mentions on the bottle. Now we're gonna turn the engine off. You can wait till the engine gets cold if you're removing the lower radiator hose so you don't burn your hands. But since the reservoir cap is open and the coolant not pressurized, I will open the drain plug while the engine is still hot and the thermostat valve is open. That way it will drain the cylinder block and the heater core fluid as well. So with every draining I took a sample to show you guys after how many flushes the water got clear. Depending on your car's radiator system, how contaminated they are, you're gonna have to do the same procedure, fill the water again and run the engine for 10 to 15 minutes and drain the water till it gets clear. So after 3 flushing procedure, the water got clear. And since the engine is hot and the thermostat valve is open, I will push the remaining water out with the compressed air. 
Let's open the cap and take out the funnel spacer and check the reservoir. With the help of the cleaner and multiple flushes, it completely cleaned the reservoir and the entire radiator cooling system. And here is the radiator reservoir before and after cleaning. No more gel-like substance. Next, we're gonna fill the radiator system with OAT coolant. And what is good about this funnel, you can pour a good amount of coolant and not worrying about spilling any coolant. After the second gallon, we need to start the engine. And it will help to recirculate the coolant and push all the bubbles out with the help of higher point of the funnel. I just pour both gallons of OAT coolant and now I'm gonna remove the funnel and the cap to check the coolant level. It's important to check the engine at the idling temperature and the coolant at the right level and no bubble comes out anymore. Then we can put the cap back on. So after draining the contaminant coolant and using cleaner then flushing for 3 times, now we have clean cooling system. Here are the 2 gallons and both empty and the cleaner did its job and the funnel was very useful. I will make sure to put some links in the video description box below. And here is how to do a complete flush if you have a contaminant system just like this. Hope you found the video useful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.